the educational needs of each and every student. Let's work together to ensure that the administrative meetings are at a bare minimum so teachers have an abundance, the most important tool to help our students, time. The administration could have said, let us provide our utmost for our children's education. But we do not live in a perfect world. And the administration felt irresponsibly short of their duty to our children. Instead, the Kent School Administration willfully demanded their way without regard for those whose voices should be heard first. That voice they chose to ignore is that of our teachers. Not only are our teachers on the front lines daily, but it is the teachers who have the perspective and classroom experience necessary to be able to specifically address what is needed to provide the best service possible. By ignoring the teachers the Kent School Administration and Kent School Board have damaged one of the most important relationships our children will have outside of their homes. That is the relationship they have with their teachers. By ignoring this voice and demanding their way, they have jeopardized the very foundation of our children's educational success today and therefore their tomorrow's potential. As I said, we do not live in a perfect world, and it is through willful action that the administration had created the current environment that was confusion and fear in our community. They and they alone were the authors of this crisis. It is by willful action the Kent School Board and Kent School Administration used our children as pawns in a reckless game. What hope then do we as parents have to protect our children from such blatant disregard for their welfare? I say that it is standing right here in our presence. It is the parents themselves. It is by acting as we have to make our voices heard, to demand that we have elected to our school board, people to do the job that they were elected to do. And if the members of our school board do not do their job, then they must be removed from office. They must be removed from office as surely as a surgeon removes a tumor. It will seem the price for a good education is constant vigilance. I began by asking for us to go back in time, but really, we cannot. The most, the most precious commodity we as human beings have is time. In the classroom, the most essential tool is not pencils or paper or smart boards, but time. Our children deserve to have as much of this most precious commodity afforded to them so that they may have the best educational environment possible. However, for us as parents and as a community, our time has come. We must now continue to fight an unjust administration and school board. We must continue this fight on the behalf of our children. We must act swiftly resolutely and as one to secure our children's future. Now is our time. And, and before, so, so I just want to say something. So last Friday we, uh, Friday we held a meeting and it almost makes me cry actually. So I would love to say that there were 60 parents there but it's probably closer to 40. We, 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 started by, we started at that one meeting collecting for the KEA's fund, uh, fines fund, $437. Just in the short time that I've been here tonight, that 
donation is now seven hundred and twelve dollars. Oh boy. Um, I just the parents who came together and you know I'm always shocked if I say I'm gonna hold a meeting and people show up. I just but they did, and they came out in, in just huge numbers. And I just, I can't tell people who've got on the KPC Facebook and the KPC website that we have now, thanks to Kamal. And now we have a meeting space, thanks to da Damon, right? That's how we pronounce it? Okay. Damien, Damon. Um, so, I mean, I...